In this session, let's warm up by talking a bit about basic UI designing in Android with constraint layouts before designing our screen for the Food Tasker app. Before constraint layouts, in early version, Android used the concept of nested view um, with a structure just like what you see here in the diagram. It groups different view objects into a view group object. And the view group objects will handle how its child views are positioned on the screen and most of your UI is defined in the XML files. With this approach, you have to manipulate your XML structure, which is quite complicated. Now, Android is introducing the constraint layout, um, which is much better, quicker, and easier for you to design the UI. You no longer have to manipulate the XML structure. Instead, you just need to drag and drop the components and set the constraint layouts, um, and it will be responsive better in different size of uh, different devices. If you want to dive deep um, into this, um, you definitely can go to this link, uh, androiddeveloper.android.com, training constraint layouts um, to get more about this. And if you can scroll down below, we got a very nice um, video and uh, example with code to teach you and talking in more detail about constraint layout, which is very nice. Back to our project, just quickly introduce um, some designing area that you need to pay attention. Um, first, I'll just um, close this one. Okay, if you go into activity, uh, sign XML, or you can go to um, rest, layout, activities, sign, design. So here is the um, area that you can uh, select the different components. So for example, you got a button image, text, button widgets like uh, web, video, calendar, etc. Down here, you've got a component tree. Um, it's going to show the different um, structure of component on the screen. So for example, right now, I've got a text here. It's just show on a component tree here. And this is the uh, layout views where you uh, drag and drop and design your UI. And if you click on this one back here, uh, is the attribute area where you can select the uh, constraint, or you can set some text, or even with some advanced attributes like ID, uh, background, text color, size, etc. And up here, we can select the different um, devices that you want to play with. Okay. Now let's start by adding a new button into our view. So for example, I can go to common button. Uh, you can drag and drop here, or you can drag and drop here, the same thing. All right, and I'll just put it here. Okay, and as you can see, it just got a button, and it just uh, got the um, error say, uh, this view is not constrained, all right? So it is recommended um, that you have the button constrained to somewhere else. All right, now let's just keep that and run the F. Okay, so we got a button, and as you can see, um, it doesn't display properly. Um, so let's go back here and add a constraint. Now, what I want to add a constraint, I can click on here. I'll just add constraint to this one, and add this one to here. All right, so basically, I'll just constrain this button to this text file by saying, hey, um, just constrain it this side up to here, it would be 116 pixel. And from the bottom of this button to the top of the text bar, it would be um, 164 pixel. All right, now let's see what's happening. If we run the ad. Okay, looks good. But what's happening if you rotate the screen? Uh oh. The button is gone. Well, actually, um, it's just somewhere up here, all right? Because this is the fixed um, constraint we set. Hey, um, the distance between the top, uh, the bottom of the button to the top of the text would be 160. So by somehow it would be outside the view. So we need to fix it, all right? Now back to here. Instead of using the fixed constraint, uh, I just remove this by Click here, all right, and click here. Now instead, I'll just constrain this one to top and 
left. And immediately you can see that we got top and left here. I'm going to change this one to, let's say, 10. 10. So it would be 10 pixel to the top and 10 pixel to the left. All right, so now we can string this one to top and left of the device. Let's see. All right, looks good. Let's rotate the screen. Awesome, it's still um, on the top and the left. So now it will be responsive much better with the same ratio as in the portrait layout. All right, that looks good. Um, let me do another example by adding a text box into our view. So let's go in text box, click uh, plain text. We can drag and drop it here. And as you can see, we got a text view uh, display under the constraint layout tree. So for this one, we do the same thing. You can click on this one or you can click here. Oh, doesn't work that way, that's fine. I'll just drag and drop, drag and drop. And I'm gonna set 10 to the top and 10 to the left, which is, um, I'll just uh, constrain this left side to the button, all right? And if you run the app, cool. So now we got a text box and looks like it's um, this way correctly. But the problem is our text box seems to be fixed with width. And if you rotate the screen, it's still with a fixed width, all right? What we want to do is it will stretch the text box up to um, the right hand side. It doesn't matter in um, which mode, all right? Portrait or landscape. So let's do it and come here and click on this one. And we click on this one, all right? And now we set the width, it's automatically set to zero. And we need to do one more thing. I'll just stretch this one here and we say 10. All right, so we just stretch the text box. Now let's run and you will see how it works. All right, so cool. Now it's straight to the button and it's straight uh, up here to the right of the device. Let's rotate the screen. Beautiful. Awesome. So now you have a good understanding of how to add the UI components into a view and play around with the position on a specific layout. In the next video, we will start building our sign screen.